Hey y'all, how is everybody doing today? We are just playing some Minecraft today, which is fun. I almost never play Minecraft anymore. So I figured let's go ahead and play it. Let's have some fun and play freaking Minecraft. Um, I, I'm gonna probably be starting some like planning ideas and like searching for an area to build a castle that I wanna build in Minecraft. Um, haven't designed it or anything, and I don't really have like a 100% idea of what I want to do, but that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look for a place to build a castle. So let's go ahead and get right on into the live gaming area. I'm going to also slightly move my ring light. It's actually in the way. I didn't think it was going to be this much in the way when I set it up. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the game. And it looks like someone died in here. I'm assuming that someone was Patrick died in here. Um, lucky for him, we can pick up all this stuff. So let's just throw whatever in here. Um, I saw some diamonds and boots and stuff like that. So we probably want to pick those up for or leggings. I want to pick those up for him. I'll just throw that stuff in there. Let's call it good. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. So I've never streamed Minecraft really on here, except for a couple of times, like way, way long ago. Oh, Patrick's in the game. Well, you know what? Dang. <laughs> dang, dang, dang. There's a ton of rotten flesh in here. Um, don't know why I have all this rotten flesh on me. That might've been Patrick's and I spawned in and grabbed everything. Um, we also have a bow of Unbreaking 3 and Flame. But I do have an Infinity Bow with Unbreaking Flame and Power 4. Which is really nice. I want to get a mending book for that. That would be beautiful. You know, wouldn't that be beautiful having a mending book? Because I think it would be for sure. Let's see. So today, at some point, we're going to go ahead and go out adventuring. Looking for some place to go. We do have two cats in here. I do need to make sure I remember where spawn is and everything. So that way... We don't have any issues with that, because that could be very bad. Um, and I'm probably just going to take a couple of things with me, like my tools, my bow, some arrows and food. Um, once I go get some food, I might have to kill off some of the chickens and stuff in here. Or go kill some of Digi's chickens and then give them back some chickens. Oh, look, a piece of bread. <laughs> probably from Patrick. I do have a shaders pack on right now. I'm debating whether or not I like it. I also used a resource pack as well just for the time being i love shaders packs they're just kind of dark uh let's see if we can turn the brightness up it's all the way up okay so i do like the shaders pack quite a bit it's kind of cool you know Ooh, thank you patrick patrick just brought me hot chocolate which i'm very excited for do you have a bed next to you patrick do you Nope, you don't. Okay. So I guess we can't sleep. The moon's setting and the sun's coming up. In your world. My world, sir. I pay for this world. Also, did you drop some diamonds and iron leggings? Probably a really long time ago. Yeah, they're both here in my in this house. I'm gonna go searching. Oh, we have hay bales, so I'm gonna take that with us. Take some wood. Let's throw this out. Um, throw this out. Do I even need wood? I don't really. I'll, I'll keep the planks, but I'll get rid of the log, or I'll keep the logs and get rid of the planks and stuff. I was building a house in here before, and I stopped. We'll keep our fishing rod just in case we need to get food to cook with. Let's take like half of our iron. Um, we have some seeds. We have some sugar cane. Some wheat for bread. Let's make a bunch of bread really quick, actually. Let's go ahead and put that into bread. I don't know where these whales came from. I don't know if they were Patrick's, but they're mine, yeah. There we go. Did my stream stop? It shouldn't have. Why? There's a nine-minute stream right now. I guess so. I'm like, I didn't stop streaming, so I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on. Patrick's computer's apparently bugging out. But you know. Ooh, let's take that potato with us too, because we don't know if we'll have potatoes wherever we're going. Get rid of these spire's eyes, these dandelions. Um, I should probably equip my shield. I have my rod of the sea, which I named. Um, we also have our infinity bow. We're gonna move all this stuff down. And we should pretty much be good to go. Go exploring, go out into the world, see what we can find. In this beautiful, beautiful world. Should I take my donkey? I don't have my horse, but I have my- Oh, my saddle. I don't- I don't think I have a saddle anymore. I think someone stole it. Did someone steal it, Patrick? Patrick stole it. So, Patrick stole my saddle at some point. Of course you lost it. We also have name tags and stuff in here. Okay, so we're just gonna go on a run. We're gonna go and see what we can find out in the world. Um, I'm just gonna casually take a screenshot of that so I don't forget where this is. We can come back for our cats and everything. I'm gonna take a sip of our hot chocolate. Hi, Judy. This is not a new world. This is the world that we're playing in together. I have debated it though, like, if there ever comes a point where all of us just, oh yes, Optifine works again. Those clouds are kind of glitched out, but you know what? That's okay. Um, I'm just gonna go exploring looking for a place to live, but this is our world. So if you want to jump in, then stay out of my house. I will stay out of your house. I will need to come back to spawn and finish building this little house. I was thinking that we could have like a little spawn city area or I might come back and just tear this down and take it for resources. I think there's a crafting table. In no, I don't need to grab a crafting table. We're good. But yeah. What house, Judy? Oh, did Patrick already burn your house down? But yeah, I want to go build like an entire kingdom somewhere. So that's going to be like a very long drawn out goal. But I think it'll be fun, you know? Um, and then, like, if any of us get really bored of this world, or we just all want to restart the world, then we can just restart it. Because- or we can save this world and just start a fresh world if we want to. We can have up to, I think, three worlds that we can play in. Um, from what I've paid for. Not all at once, but, like, we can have, like- Actually, just keep those eggs. I might not have chickens where I am. And having the eggs in my inventory might be a good thing. Let's actually come back in here. Let's also take a couple of bones. Oh my goodness. A couple of bones. Uh, let's grab an entire stack of eggs instead of just three eggs. There we go. Um, there's an ender pearl in here. Oh, look, a crafting table. Don't really need that, but, you know. Seeds. We have enough stuff to, like, start out a new area in my opinion so we should be fine we should be fine patrick please tell me it's still there <laughs> judy probably spent ages making that patrick oh my goodness it looks like i have eyebrows with armor on which is really funny i don't i have goggles on but with my hat helmet on it looks like i have eyebrows it's great great like very light brown eyebrows. um what was i I was gonna craft a boat. I was like, I came in here to craft something. I don't remember what it was. Let's go ahead and craft a boat really quick. So that way we can go into the ocean and I don't think we're gonna go super far away from spawn, but we're gonna go far enough. Far enough, you know. The dead fish, oh my goodness. Poor Judy Patrick over here destroying her stuff. I know. There we go. And let's go exploring. Look at the shaders. The shaders is actually really, really pretty. I'm glad I installed this before we started streaming today. I really like it. I do want to live. I honestly might make my kingdom in the birch. Is that a flat? If I find a flower biome, that's kind of what I'm looking for because they have really good hills in that biome. And I want to find a flower forest. Which actually, is this a flower forest literally like within our little ocean? I don't think it is. It could have been, but I don't think it is. 
Judy, where do you live? In one of the swamps over here? Right? This water's kind of tripping me out. <laughs> I'm not used to having nice looking water like this in Minecraft. I'm not going to lie. I'm apparently taking a ton of lily pads with me. Oh, look. It looks like someone else did the same thing right there. Those clouds keep tripping me up, and I keep thinking I see, like, um, something in the sky. I like the package that you are using. Right? Okay, so, like, I like the resource pack, and I like the shaders. The shaders make it look so much nicer. Oh, Judy's gonna join! Judy! Judy's here now. Yeah, it's just, like... A vanilla Minecraft pack with, like, slightly smoother textures. Um, slightly nicer looking textures. And that's what I like about it, because I like to just still have the Minecraft feel with, like, slightly nicer textures. I think it might be the shaders that's doing that to the clouds. But, to be fair, I guess the resource pack is actually too updated. It's technically for 1.18, and this is in 1.17. So, yeah. That might also be causing some issues, but I don't know. I do, like I said, want to find a flower. Um, I think there's Patrick's desert. Should we go find Patrick? Oh, no, that's not a desert. That was just some sand that. Oh, look, someone's house. Is that Wait. is that Patrick's random cobble house that he tried building at some point? Or is that Judy's house? It looks like it's Patrick's cobble house. Oh, that's my... With a lot of stuff around. Um, there you go. It's negative 1274. 62. Negative 191. You will never find me. <laughs> Says Judy. Okay, I'm gonna leave from that. That way it deloads this chunk and your stuff doesn't despawn. Oh my goodness. If you want to take any of it back, you probably could. That's what Patrick just told me. Although, I know I just said we're going to leave that area, but we might be sticking around this area, sort of. Like I said, I want to find a flower forest biome. That's like my goal today is we find a flower forest biome. That's why I should have titled the stream. Honestly. But, you know, it is what it is. I am debating getting into like a Discord call. That could be fun. With anyone who wants to be up on the server. There's a spruce biome. It's like the opposite of Hello Angelic Skittles. Welcome in. How you doing? How you feeling? How's your day going? Hopefully it's going good. Um, if anybody's wondering why I didn't stream for the past couple of days, is why? There we go. Wow, okay, yeah. I need to just buy myself a new cheap key or go get my cheap keyboard from somewhere else because or from my parents' house that I have. Because my keyboard does not like to work very much right now. Actually, is this the flower forest right here? Uh, where does it say the type of biome? Birch forest. Let's see. I probably shouldn't play with that like on my screen because I'm not gonna be able to see very easily. I didn't test if a torch could be seen. I'm doing good. It's been a bit since I've been in a stream. You're all good in jog skittles. Thank you for jumping on in. Um, I'm doing pretty good. We're just searching for a new different biome. Which I might need to take my shaders off for. What is this biome? What kind of trees are these this tall? Are these just Oh, a taiga hill. 
I don't remember these trees being in a Taiga Hills biome. That's really cool. We do have our shaders on, so hopefully you guys can at least kind of see as we're running. Do I have a torch on me? Don't. Should we go? Ooh. Oof. Oof. Yeah, shaders and no. Okay. Done. Um, video settings, shaders. Normal map, render quality hand. We're going to take that off really quick. Because I can't see anything, and I'm sure you guys want to be able to see, too. Because <laughs> I can't see. We'll put that back on once we have, like, a torch in our hand. Let's see, and we're as bright as we can go. But yeah, now we can actually see in the game. Ugh, I love this biome because it has, like, mossy cobble and stuff like that. It's beautiful. And this is where all the berry bushes are. Like I said, I want to find a flower forest. Is that what it's called? To build in. Because I want like the really green grass and I want a lot of flowers and like stuff like that. Flower fields and everything. I think I just circled back to like where Patrick's base is. Oops. Or Patrick's like old base is. Hope you know, such is life. Let's just go ahead and run through this forest really quick we can grab berries on the way if we want to oh my goodness look at this is this this almost looks like a meteor crater or something like that i see the creeper nope ah oh, dang it did blow up i was trying to keep it from blowing up one out of three players is sleeping who's sleeping oh no one's sleeping anymore we're gonna keep running through the forest. Hopefully find something. Hydrate. Everybody hydrate. Hydrate. Huh? No, why? Oh. No, I have no idea where you are. Um, I'm gonna grab these mushrooms because, you know, those are fun to have. Where's my shield? Oh, we're going through berry bushes. I was like, why are we getting hurt? Because berry bushes, that's why. This has to be one of the- Mushrooms can look like that? Is it just- Yeah, it's just one brown mushroom. I didn't know that they could grow like in groups like that in this game. Without like mods or something. I'm pretty confident that I won't die in exploring, but at the same time, who knows? Like I might have gone the wrong way to find a flower forest biome. In all honesty, from spawn. Oh no, Judy left. BRB got to eat real quick. Sounds good, Judy. Have fun eating. Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Redeemed hydrate. Oh, Judy also redeemed hydrate? Everybody hydrate. <sighs> also, this is coarse dirt, which I love coarse dirt. So it's nice to know that we have a place where we can get it from close by. Coarse dirt is like so good for paths and stuff like that. Let's see. Just jump on through. Why aren't you in the right space? There we go. So much easier to grab it if it's in the right space, I tell you. Oh, look. Oh, a little village. Let's go ransack the place, you guys. Let's see. I'm sure Judy or Patrick have already found this village, honestly. Let's see if there's anything to ransack. I don't think there is. There probably isn't. Oh no, there is. Maybe Judy and Patrick haven't gotten here yet. I always forget that these like have double doors. Ooh, a diamond. I'll take that. 
iron. I'll take the coal actually, so we can make a torch. And then I'm curious to see if we hold a torch and put our shaders back on. Options, video settings, shaders. I think that that one will have torch glow. I'm not 100% sure though. I didn't look, look into the shader park a ton. I think it does. Yeah, it does. That's what was making the light. Okay. Let's make sure we have our torch on us. Oh, look, a fire pit, which I just found out you could cook food on. I had no idea, you guys. Like, literally none. Oh, this is a cool little house. The villager living in here. Is there a villager that goes up to the top, too? There is. I'm going to take your emeralds and your food, okay? Okay. Sorry. Pumpkin seeds. I'll take those. That way we have stuff to start our farms later on. I, something I still wish to this day that we could craft in Minecraft or, like, find, even if not craft, are backpacks. Like, just in vanilla Minecraft. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Um, there's a skeleton right there. Lovely! Lovely. Gotta love that. Let's see. Let's just heal up a little bit. Because we don't need to be dealing with no skeletons right now. <laughs> I'll try to clock or something in Minecraft so I could see how long. Oh, the moon's going down. We're all good. Minecraft days aren't like extremely long to the point where they're annoying. Or days and nights. So we get annoying really quickly if the nighttime was super long and you just couldn't do anything during the day. But no, I think nighttime's like only half the time that daytime is. Oh, there's a fox here. Do you have anything? Not really. Oh, I want my torch back. Sorry. Let's see. How about this person? This person has a lot of berry bushes in front of their house. That's probably not very safe. I'm going to get rid of that for you. Do we take the berry? We do. We have a couple of berries to plant later on, too. I am tempted to just be like, okay, I'm staying here. Oh, they have a ton of pumpkins. I don't know what that- Whoa, a skeleton. That's what I just heard, I think, was the skeleton. Like, I feel like I heard a monster, but I can't find it. Oh, they also have, like, a forge. A blast. Ooh. Let's run into a house. Baby zombies are like the bane of my freaking existence. I cannot with those things, you guys. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. Minecraft looks so peaceful sometimes. It really does. Minecraft can be very peaceful. Like I said, I really want to build like an entire medieval castle. And a little town next to it. We're kind of just going to be looking for a good place to build. And the sun is rising. Okay. Come back out here. Let's see. Honestly, that way is probably a good direction to go in. I'll take your bread and your potatoes. Woo. Don't shoot at me. Okay, let's go back into this forest right here. What was that? Was that a cat? I don't know. Okay, so this is just a normal forest. Is that a jungle over there? Go see. There's a bunch of chickens around. There's some rose bushes. Hmm. 
Ooh, this is like a kind of a cool little place that you could build in. I don't think I would this time, but it could be a fun place for a base. Again, it's kind of like a little crater. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Let's go up to like the mountain and see what we can see from up here. I would like to find... I'm going to be, like, so picky. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that mountain actually looks really cool. It has some floating blocks, you know. Typical of Minecraft to spawn in floating blocks. But that mountain does look pretty cool. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I keep thinking I see, like, super high up pieces of land, but no, they're just clouds. Every time. Every dang time. Redeemed hydrate, everybody hydrate. <laughs> you really scared Patrick there, Judy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Actually, is this gonna be a flower biome over here? Or is that just a normal birch biome? It looks like it might just be a normal birch biome. Get some more bread. Let's see. I think it's just another birch forest. Dang it! I want an actual flower biome, please. Dang. Ooh, pit of lava. Lovely. Lovely! Gotta love those pits of lava, you guys. <laughs> See how this birch biome looks, though. I think up here is like a mountain. Yeah, the grass color changes and everything. Although this is kind of cool right here. On the opposite side from that mountain now. I do kind of like running through mountain biomes. It allows you to see a lot more. <laughs> a lot more. Let's see. Hello? Minecraft. If only I had my saddle. It'd be much easier, Patrick. Patrick likes stealing stuff from everybody. It's not a Oh, look, a mountain goat. You have to steal things, right? Right, I'm sure of that. See, I just... Well <sighs> I do wish that, like, in here, the connection to the ocean wasn't in a swamp biome. I don't like the look of swamp biomes, so I don't really want to build near one. And, like, we spawned in around a lot of swamp biomes, which sucks. Let's see. Keep running in the mountains really quick. That was very, very quick. We're back to some swamps. Wait, oh, I, um, I almost just died. I should probably be more careful. Ooh, there's a wild... Armaldo. Let's see what we can find out here, maybe. That. Why are there stone blocks in the middle of the ocean? What did you do, Patrick? Nope, these are just like pillars. That's weird. This one's floating and that one's like an actual pillar. Interesting. There's this like birch forest right here. Let's see what we can find. I want to find somewhere good. I 
that's away from all the dang swamps. We have far too many swamps around us. Oh, is this a desert? Looking like it's a desert. Or is it a little deserted island? It's a deserted island, okay. Yeah, that's a weird island. I've never seen a desert island before. Huh. That's something I didn't even know existed. Let's just keep going in this direction. I don't even know which direction we're going in, but we're gonna keep going to see until we find something. Until we find something fun and cool and exciting. <laughs> oh look, an ice ice spikes, I think, biome. Is this where Patrick lives? Or at one point lived? Because he's lived in like every single biome. Is this like an iceberg? Okay, no, we actually found an ice spikes. Am I near you? Oh, there's a polar bear. A little polar bear. I feel like I need to go up into my options. Um, video sen settings. Let's go ahead and do like 26 chunks. For render distance. Because I feel like we aren't rendering far enough. To really see anything easily. I've literally have not found an ice spikes biome in such a long time in this game. Or an ice. Is this even considered like an ice biome? No. You melt the ice if you place like torches and stuff. Did you find that out the hard way? Why? It didn't let I mean, you. Oh, okay. Why are there so many swamps in this world? The heck? Turn off the rendering of swamps, apparently. There we go. Oh, hey, a wolf. Should we tame you? Let's see. He's, he's too upset at the sheep right now. Um. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, can I interest you in some bones? Uh, we could interest him in some bones. Now we have a wolf. A little wolf pet for our journeys. Doge. The doge. It's a happy little doge. Hopefully it'll stay happy. Um, hopefully we don't end up accidentally killing it. I do want to find a resource pack that actually has like different dogs or like different colors for the wolves. Like when you turn them into dogs, kind of like how cats do. Oh, I found your desert, Patrick. Oh, never mind. That's just like an island. Although, right here could be kind of cool to build for the kingdom. That Patrick will inevitably burn and blow up. It's not the exact biome I wanted, but these biomes... Oh, there's like an entire... Yeah, this could work pretty well. Sometimes I wish I could fly. In this game because it'd make it so much easier to like see land and everything let's see so we could build huh. yeah we could build over here and this allows for us if we ever want to have a port area we can have a port i might build the castle up on these hills over here this could be very good you guys we might have found where we're gonna live as long as we don't die here. Who else is on? Just you. Do you have a bed? <laughs> Let's sleep. Going to sleep at night or during thunderstorms? Pretty close to being nighttime. There we go. Play 
save. Yay. I'm sleeping in the middle of a field. Do you want to talk to me about safe? Okay. First things first, let's literally just build a little a little hut like right here. And we have like the ice spikes biome over there and everything. That's kind of cool. Um, let's just build like a little hut. <laughs> Out of whatever materials we have. We have a bunch of dark oak logs. So let's just go to make a bunch of dark oak planks. And build a little base camp right here. Why do they hate you so much? Like, Patrick has such issues with Enderman, I swear. Let's see. <laughs> We're making a super basic house. Pretty much just a hut, it's not even really a house. that we're making something of like four walls and a roof you guys that's the entire purpose of this house right now and let's do that one more big let's see and there we go did i pick up my bed i did i'm gonna Put it down like right here because this is where it's gonna go anyways so might as well put it down let's go ahead and have our little door like right here in the future um let's go and set our respawn point again there we go <laughs> so we don't teleport somewhere else our dog's in the way of building but that's fine it's fine he's a companion he'll be in the way sometimes but it's worth it it's worth it Right? <laughs> it's worth it, right? Kidding. Um, let's see. Build up here. And then we'll explore the area a little bit more as well in a second. We don't have a roof yet, but we can grab some other type of block for roof. We're not even gonna have enough of these blocks for this wall. So let's go ahead and add in where we're gonna have some windows. I want a window like right here. I guess we can't make it that big. Like right here. Let's go ahead and throw in a window like right here so we can see out the back. Let's throw another window like right here. Or maybe not but like this so we can see out that way. And then a window right here. And there we go. Now we have enough blocks to finish building. <laughs> finish building our walls at least. And nothing should be able to get us through like a one, like little short windows like that. I don't think at least. Uh, let's go ahead and chop down some more wood so that way we can get chests and things like that. I don't feel like dealing with a giant tree right now. So let's go for these tiny ones instead. And yeah, we're gonna get started on eventually building a dang castle, which I have no idea how I'm gonna build it yet. So that's gonna be a feat in and of itself. <laughs> Once we actually start building it. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay, let's go ahead and put on our roof really quick to this build. We need a crafting table, which I'll make out of these types of blocks since they're gonna be the more common blocks that we're gonna have with those. There we go. Let's just throw out whatever that is. I think it's wool. It looks like wool. Um, let's just throw our crafting table like right here. And oh, we can't even make dark oak doors. No. Sad days. Sad freaking days. There we go. That's not gonna be enough stairs by a long shot, but or by any means, but. We'll do it for now. Um, we're just gonna do like a really simple roof on here. Nothing, nothing fancy, you guys. We we aren't living fancy yet, okay? Not yet. Oop. 
go. Let's run over here. This roof's gonna look a little bit strange, probably, but that's fine. Again, we're not living fancy. We're we're just living. We're just living at the moment, and, and that's about as far as we're going. Oop, I did this wrong. Okay. There we go. That. Bang. And a little bang. We can maybe make the front look. Yeah, we can make the front look nice. Everywhere else is going to look a bit wonky. But it's fine. <laughs> um, and I guess we'll make slabs for the roof roof. The top, the peak of the roof. Go. And let's go ahead and get all of these starting to be laid down. We'll go grab some more wood. Grab some more wood. And then we'll continue building. And this game is basically just about building. And that'll be like the dark, maybe that's the dark forest that no one goes into. I don't know. The creatures live in the dark forest, you guys. Obviously. I need to clear out all these trees anyway, so I'm going to build here and terraform it, so... This is gonna be things that we're gonna be doing for a while. It's just breaking leaves, breaking trees, destroying everything, doing our own little thing. Eventually we'll go back to spawn. I wanna make like a nether hub on here so that way all of us can get to spawn into our homes really easily over time. I'm sure everyone will enjoy that. <laughs> So the easier it is to get around, the better. Do that. Maybe eventually we'll make like a little spawn village or city or something. I'm gonna throw a torch out here and another torch just like here or something. And then we will go ahead and save that last torch in our inventory. That's now a must in our inventory is a torch. Because without a torch, we can't do much. We cannot do very much. Come over here and jump up. Let's see. <sighs> Something I do kind of wish I had, or that we could have in this, is like the time lapse mod. That'd be fun. At least I feel like that would be fun. Because then all of us could do like time lapses of our builds if we wanted to afterwards. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to have mods in um, a realm, yeah. Otherwise, I would do it. I would try to do it. Let's see. Bang. And then bang. A little wolf just beside us down there. I'm worried. I'm kind of worried that he's going to die at some point, which he more than likely is, let's be honest, but hopefully he doesn't. And there we go. We will put that there. We need more blocks. We continue this. Oh, look, of course there's also chickens here. The one animal that I could bring with me easily is the one animal that is here. That's fun. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's go grab some more wood in a second. Let's make a new... What's it called? Um, thing. Thingy. A new thingy. A new axe. That's what it's called. <laughs> Let's make a new axe really quick. Should also probably go ahead and make a farm very quickly as well. In the next day or two, so that way we can have some food now that we're far away from everybody else. And you know, oh, there's a new Pokemon if anyone else would like to try to catch it. Go ahead, go right on ahead. Let's see how ambitious this build is for me because I tend to be overly ambitious with things like this, so we're gonna see. 
I'm going to see how that turns out. Oh, an apple. You know what they say about an apple a day. Grab that. Back up here. I do want to make more torches. I just don't have any more coal at the moment. Let's see. Are you able to sleep? Patrick, are you far away? Okay. So we are going to just have to be on our merry little, do our merry little business. We might go ahead and just make a door and a few chests really quick. So that way we can go underground while Patrick's, you know, doing his thing, running around. <laughs> so that way I don't die. My problem. So it's the one who dies constantly. Not anymore, uh-huh. Some chests here. Throw a bunch of our stuff in here. Let's see. Throw that, we'll throw that. That, that. <gasps> do, do, do. I kinda had a water bucket in my inventory. That's useful. I should grab the sticks back um, just in case we need to make more torches, which we probably will need to. Let's throw that random fishing rod. Um, let's hold this one in our hand so we can actually see what we're doing. Otherwise, we won't be able to. Woo! Instantly. Get him, Wolf! Get him! Oh my goodness. I lied, there is one creature that can get through a one by one. Freaking baby zombies. Jeez. Okay. This isn't like going to be an official mine or anything. We're just mining down so that way we can get A, resources and B, just to not die at night. Let's see. It's so nice having- oh, the, our wolf. We need to be careful because he could get us in a sticky situation where he follows us and then jumps down a one by one. Oh, and Patrick just died. <sighs> That's not that much news. That happens quite often. Ow. Did your bed get blown up or something? Oh. I died by do you know where you are or where your home is? Did you finally write down coordinates? Mm hmm. You are very far away. Just go into one of the houses in the village or something for now. If you have to, I don't know. Patrick just died and he's he's still new to Minecraft, you guys. So Patrick does not quite know how to handle himself when tragedy strikes like this. <laughs> I don't know why you slept in the bed the night before too, because we both slept. That's weird. You moved the bed? That's your, that's the reason why you, your respawn didn't happen then. Oh, Patrick making rookie mistakes. Just right click on the bed and it'll reset your spawn point. You don't even have to sleep in it. He just didn't do it. Oh, well, rest in peace. I think you have some pants in my house. If, oh, you already ran away. We need to like make a little backup kit for anybody who just like happens to spawn at spawn. Like in that little house, just like have a chest labeled Digi, Judy, Patrick, and Dorian. Well, all it would have is like food, um, basic tools and armor. And maybe like a boat. So that way, if you don't have a boat, you can just easily have a boat. Oh, there goes our wolf. 
Wow, that was a crazy little side trip thing right here. Let's go to make a bunch of torches really quick so that so that way we can actually start placing them down and not just be holding one in our hand. Let's see. That was a crazy little like side mining trip there. Great. There we go. So that way, if we come back down here, we don't instantly get killed by stuff. Let's see. Can you get out of the way, please, dog? Oops. Oh, and there goes our iron pickaxe anyways. Let's go back up to our house then, in that case. We have a bunch of resources now, um, specifically coal that I can use to put torches around. It's still nighttime. It is still nighttime. Let's put some torches up in here. Woo. For now, let's throw our shield up because apparently stuff is shooting us. I don't know where it's shooting us from though. Oh. Our wolf is on it. Never mind, I think our wolf respawned back to us. Mm -hmm. You deserve some rotten flesh. AKA dog food. Ooh, there's a creeper. Why does there have to be a creeper? Ooh. Why am I not using my bow? My bow is more powerful than like my sword. Okay, I don't know where it went, but that's not good. Let's go to make a furnace really quick so we can cook things if we need to. We can smell iron and stuff in here. This is pretty much going to be like a little mini home base for the time being until we can get way more stuff because we're going to freaking build a castle. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead. Dreaming for about an hour already? That's insane. Let's see. I'm changing the title of the stream because I feel like it deserves a title change. I'm just gonna title it Gathering Resources for a Castle. Or should I just find it title it? There we go. Title change. Title change. Chapter two of today's stream. Just want for it to be morning. Yeah. Trying to throw torches around. Just randomly. That's a drowned. Lovely. Let's see. Now we have to fix this hole in front of our house. Ugh! Hi. <laughs> Don't put one like here. Eventually, this entire area will be safe for us to like run around. For the time being, it's nowhere near safe. 
the hard part about Minecraft. It's like, it takes forever to get safe in a place. We can take our shield down. Okay. That back over there. Let's cut down some more trees. That way we can get wood to build with. <sighs> Our dog probably isn't doing great. No. You... Is it like a dungeon or something? Well, rest in peace, our wolf. You already died. That's sad. Okay. I was looking over at Patrick's screen. <laughs> I blame Patrick for the wolf's death. There are already so many creeper holes over here. It's not okay. I think I want our castle to be up, like, in between those, like, hills right there. For eventual building plans. Ooh, I can get on top of this freaking tree. Like, between that hill and that hill and, like, have the castle here. And then the city can be splayed out over throughout this valley, over this river. And stuff like that. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm just going to take four freaking ever to build. This is going to be a very, very long stream series. That's for sure. That's for dang sure. Ooh. What's up with all these creepers? Half a mind to turn off creepers in this world. Jeez. There's way too many of them <laughs> that spawned near our base. They're blowing up everything. Including our puppy. Luckily, we do have other dogs back at um, spawn. So, it's okay. We'll get dogs again. We'll have cats, too. I'm very excited about the cats. I might need to bring the cats here so they keep the creepers away, though. Like, dang. Cut this trees down. It also helps to keep things from staying alive near us too long. But what biome is the castle? Was the castle? It was in like a forest or something? Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I've never. I don't know what all can spawn in anymore. Yeah, I haven't played the game in such a long time. I just don't know. Oh. Like a witch's. Because witches can have houses and stuff. Oh, I think I live like right next to you, Patrick. No, but I think I did find the desert, finally. I keep thinking that I find. Let's see. Is that a desert over there? Nope. Just more ocean and swamp. I thought I saw a desert because of sand. There's way too much swamp in this world. <laughs> I hate it. But yeah, I do think the castle is going to come up here on this hill. This will probably be like the hill that we really clear out. Um, to go to build that. And have it like looking over everybody else. Z is height. Like up and down. Why? Or no wait, Z is never mind. Y is up and down. The Y I don't pay attention to as much. Mainly just the X and the first and last. My brain. My brain wasn't working for a second there. 
Let's see. I'm gonna take like half of those logs. I doubt that we'll need that many more stairs. Granted, we may. I said we're gonna make a farm as well, so we need to make sure we go make a farm really quick. Um, we're just gonna make a cobble hole because I don't feel like it's worth it to make anything else. There we go. I'm thinking we're just gonna go to make a potato farm for now because we actually have 10 potatoes to farm with, so that's very useful. And potatoes, I feel like, are one of the best plants just to farm with in this game. Um, where should we make the farm? Is there a spot that's bigger? Yes, okay. Where to view for a second? One, two, three, four. I'll make a big old potato farm. Grab our potatoes and plant all of them. There we go. There's all of our potatoes that we have for now. There's like a torch around here. It might seem excessive with how many torches I placed down, but believe me, it's for a reason. Without torches, the game is so difficult to play sometimes. As you guys saw, as we were being like murdered by everything in sight earlier. Let's see. Okay. I want to start getting rid of this like entire little forest patch. So let's go ahead and do that. Just start cutting trees. I do wish we had like efficiency and stuff, but then our axe would break so fast. Efficiency and mending. Those are like the two best things that we could get for ourselves. We'll finish our house tonight because it's inevitable that we're going to be living through the night again. I don't know why Patrick always insists on that. Mm hmm. Because we could always sleep and then, you know. Survive. Not get shot by skeletons. <laughs> You're almost back at your house. Oh, then that probably wasn't the witch's house. Then maybe that was Judy's house. You stole a boat from Judy then. Maybe Judy is the witch that lives in the forest. I don't know. How's that for some lore in the server? <laughs> Judy's the witch on an island. On a little swamp island. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lovely? How do you feel about that, Judy? I actually don't even know if you live in the swamp or not. That's a good question. Also, hopefully y'all like enjoy Minecraft a bit because we're probably going to be streaming it a bit more often because I've been meaning to stream it more often. I just haven't. Is it? Patrick said it's tracking really, really well right now, so... Probably gonna be streaming it a little bit more often. Probably at least like once a week, I'd imagine. I have so many different games I want to play through. It's like hard to make time for all of them right now. It's hard until like I'm doing this for longer at once. Like once we start having more towards six hour streams and stuff like that, it'll be easier to play a bunch of different games because then I'm playing them like side by side in a single stream stuff like that Let's see i'm gonna put more torches around down here hopefully less stuff spawns tonight close to us that's the goal at least with doing this let's see 
We can make things look nice and aesthetic later on, but right now our goal is just completely to light up the area, keep things from spawning and just instantly killing us and stuff like that. Iron in there. Jew and you for some more torches. Which have I even put torches in my house? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm like, wait a second. That's important too. Let's see. This is also how like the spawn area looks right now with all the, the torches over there. And guess who did it over there too? It was me. <laughs> I didn't want too many things spawning around us. See. Huh. Ooh. That's not good. So that can be a struggle. It's like an entire skill to get coordinates to match up correctly. I think there is a way to like bind compasses to your house and stuff like that. Although that might just be a mod. But it would be nice if it wasn't just the mod, and we could just do that. Make it like 10 times easier to find everything. We can have like a compass for spawn for each other's houses. For our own house. Where are things spawning from? Take that. One shot kill for me. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft some more. Actually, let's go ahead and craft some of these. I don't know how many I want. Um, I think that's good. Just so we actually have like functioning windows. I want to put those on the other side. Okay, let's put them from the inside. But so that way we at least have like semi-functioning windows that things can't get through. Those aren't the best looking windows, but you know what? We're living with what we got at the moment, okay? I haven't had time to make glass yet. I'm sure we'll use trapdoors later on too for other stuff. And you can still kind of see out them. Because honestly, it might be partial what we make the windows out of, like, the entire thing. Go ahead and make a bunch of stairs. There we go. And let's also go ahead and make sure we have some more planks. That way, yeah, we can actually finish the roof. go boom boom i do want to have like more lanterns and stuff eventually but lanterns are hard to come by <laughs> they're a bit more expensive you know yeah. expensive to build at least you have iron and stuff in them This house is going to be so ugly, but I can't care right now. <laughs> uh. okay. And then that, and then up here we can just go straight across because this is going to be slabs for that part of the roof. Something we do need to figure out is kind of like a general like house design. <laughs> Love it, Judy. Love it. I'm gonna hold a torch at night. I feel like I need to, so that way you guys can all see better. Even though we have torches like everywhere. Let's 
Let's see. Mm -hmm. It won't despawn unless you're like really far away from it and stuff. Well, I feel like you're really far away from it and it's loaded in. Like if me and you were playing next to each other, I'd have to go pick up your stuff because it would despawn since I'm still loaded into the world. For example, grab that. Make like half of these into stairs. Let's make like maybe that should be more than enough planks. And let's just pillar from in here. And there we go. Um, let's finish this really quick. And then we'll go put the planks down. I think this is the last little section of roof that we need to finish. And we will be done. We'll be done with this little itty bitty tiny house. <laughs> Let's see. And then just the slabs. And nothing should be able to spawn on this roof, which is also good. Very, very good. Anywhere super close to me that I see anything spawning? Not really, so that means that we lit up the area well enough to not have things spawning right next to our house, at least. Which is a good sign. I think I'm gonna go ahead... There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the BRB screen for a bit, you guys. I'm just gonna go run and do a couple things, play a couple ads. If you guys are here, make sure you stretch, get up, go get water, go get food, go get whatever you need. And I will be back momentarily. Just enjoy the music, enjoy the scenery of Minecraft, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, I didn't realize my microphone was on this entire time. Oh, well, you guys got to hear how weird we are. And the reason why I took a break on the hour. And that's pretty much all we talked about. <laughs> you got to hear my weird voices from my cats. Um, and yeah. It's the daytime again. We're gonna do more of the same thing. We're just gonna continue cutting down some trees. You guys hopefully didn't hear me eat too much. Um... Because that can be kind of weird. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to actually come up into this little hill to see exactly like how big it is and cut down the trees up here. Um, 
Because these are really the trees that I need to be cutting down more than anything else at the moment. I mean, I'm sure we'll cut down all these trees because all this was probably going to be incorporated into like builds at some point in different spots and different areas. So that's something that we're going to be doing. Let's see. I do want this mountain tall enough so that way it can fit everything, but also we need it big enough to where like we can act or tall enough to where we can oversee everything, but we need to find like a level where it's like big enough to where we can actually put the entire castle on it. And I guess there's, th yeah, this mountain extends pretty far back actually. So that's a good sign. We might build slightly into the dark forest then in that case. Or we might build facing this way. Wait, what's over here? Is this a better side? Did I find the better side? The better half? Should the castle face over this way? I think the castle might face over this way instead. I kind of like this area a little bit better than the other area. Okay, well, rest in peace where my house is. So let's start cutting down wood over here instead. I wish that these forests weren't so dense sometimes because they're kind of they're kind of dense, you know. Oak and birch forests, or at least they can be. But I think this side of the mountain is the side that we're going to be facing. Like, we can still have a dock, but I think the castle will be facing this side. Or maybe instead of, like, a sea dock, we have, like, the river dock or something like that. I mean, we can still obviously have houses on the other side and stuff, but I think this is going to be the focus of it. Oh, no, and that just broke, so that's run all the way back around. Ah. But yeah, again, we'll figure out the layout over time. I do need to go into a creative world and build out a castle. Kind of see like the design and then just tweak it for here. But that can be done later. Dang, I'm kind of sad that our house is all the way over here now. We're gonna have to clear out, like I said, all these trees anyways, but it's so much further away than I was expecting. Because of that, uh, let's grab you and let's make another iron ax. There we go. Oh, that's fine. We have torches on both sides. I did like the idea of looking out over this way. But the hills aren't really in the right spots. I guess we could still try and see if we can. And then we'd get rid of this hill. Which getting rid of that hill might help us build up this hill. Again, we're gonna we're really just gonna have to see like how everything like unfolds. Let's just cut down the forest on this side. To start. A little bit easier than running all the ways over there and then having my axe break and running all the ways back home, especially through a forest that's kind of dense and thick and bigger. Let's see. This is going to be what we do for a while. What is everybody up to? How's everybody been? I have been doing pretty good, pretty much just chugging away with school and work at home. Um, not like work work, but like just household duties, household work. Um, what's everybody's like favorite and least favorite household thing? Like chore, I guess. So I know like, I feel like everybody like that's an adult has a favorite household chore that they don't mind doing or they mind doing the least. And everybody has like their least favorite chore. I think my least favorite chore is cleaning the cat litter box. So that's why Patrick typically does that. I usually just like say like, hey, it's kind of getting dirty, don't you think? Don't you think it's kind of getting dirty? 
Patrick hates it that I don't just ask him to do it. I need to start doing that. Also, don't, can, can you smell the cat litter right now? I'm just no, I'm pretty sure we just cleaned it like, or you just cleaned it like, what, two nights ago? But yeah, that's probably my least favorite chore. Second least favorite chore is doing the dishes. Honestly, I think. I think that's what I'd have to say. Like, and that's like even on a hard scale, because like I honestly don't mind doing the dishes. I just kind of forget about them. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I forget about them all the time. I would say like my favorite chore is just vacuuming. <laughs> As weird as it sounds, I think vacuuming might be like my favorite little household chore. Cause like I mind it the least and you can just kind of like listen to music or be watching something with your earbuds in and just vacuum and it's fine. And vacuuming, you don't have to like have any like specific way or purpose that you're doing it. And you can just kind of do it. Today, I do need to do more homework today. I need to like, uh, I need to, I say that every day and I don't do homework. <laughs> like every single day. I'm just like, I need to do more homework. Never actually sits down to do homework. Um, it's an issue. It's a real issue for me. You guys can't tell. But I always say I need to get homework done. And I never actually touch my homework. But we'll get it done. We'll get it done eventually. I keep telling myself. I did finally get one of my video projects done yesterday. So that made me feel very accomplished. And then today, I watched two films from my class. Well, almost two films. I still have like 20 minutes left in one of them. Um, and that was for my class today, so I had to get that done. But, you know. I should probably start working on some other assignments for that class. Because my teacher's super lenient in that class, which is very nice. But at the same time, it's like... Sometimes I wish there was more structure in some of my classes, you know? But also, she's kind of like, if the most points that anyone earns in this class is 50 points, then we're going to base our grading scale off of that. And I'm like, bomb. So if all of us just end up not getting much done in this class, then none of us are fully screwed over. Which is nice. Okay, I'm going to just throw some more torches around in here. Probably going to get shot at a lot and stuff. You know... It is what it is. It is what it frickin' is. Let's put some more down in here. This is a pretty open space now. I think I took a bunch more coal. So I can make more torches. Yeah, I took like 12 more pieces of coal. We're gonna have to go mining in a little bit as well again, so that way we can get more coal with more torches. Because like literally with this like Pack, we can't see like more than a couple feet ahead of us without torches placed everywhere. <laughs> That's fun. That's something I'm going to keep in mind when we're lighting like our final build and stuff like that. We're going to be building all over this place. So having these torches everywhere is going to be very helpful in the end. Okay, probably like right here needs a torch. That's actually pretty good. We have a decent amount of like land area covered in torches now. To the point where less things will hopefully spawn for sure. <laughs> Which need to be I need to have like an ear out. Specifically for creepers, so I can just run away from them because the creepers are the things that keep getting me and they're the most annoying creatures out of all of them. Um and eventually we will have more trees again. They'll just probably be like custom trees. Instead of like normal Minecraft trees. Because custom trees are always fun. I enjoy making custom trees and they always look so much nicer than Minecraft trees, especially if you have like a theme going on. And so we can make some nice bigger trees. I'm gonna take over this world. Oh my goodness, Patrick. Are you the one building the castle? No, you're building like yes. a desert temple. Let's see, let's come in here and get this wood. Oh, and chopped a down. Actually, no, I think I changed my- I guess this isn't really, like, my least favorite chore in general to do. I think it's going and getting gas. <laughs> it's just annoying. Not a household chore, but in general chore. Going and getting ca gas is just so annoying to me. I hate it so much. Because, like, then you have to spend money. 
which just makes it worse. Because who really wants to be spending money on gas? No one. That's who. Which is why I dislike it so much. Let's see, let's go ahead and cut down some more trees. That's literally all I've been doing for the past like 10 minutes. Cutting down trees after tree. Tree after tree after tree. That's what you have to do sometimes. To progress in the game. It's just really be grindy and do a bunch of things. Because we're not cheating. We're not cheating and going in creative, right? So we have to really grind out for resources and to terraform land and stuff like that. I think we are gonna terraform this land at some point. For sure, to be make it a lot more flat. A lot flatter. Um but like I said, we're gonna do like a medieval style castle. And medieval style castles aren't all just like one building. They have like the main like throne room slash castle space and then like halls and stuff like that. They have to like go outside and then go back inside to get to. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. Aw. We broke our axe. No. Go back home really quick. Put down a couple more torches on our way there. It looks like our torches are fending off the mobs from spawning though, so that's a really good sign. And we got a lot of that forest cleared out. It came up to like right here before. That's pretty good. <laughs> hmm. They they will despawn. I think. Actually, you might have to kill that witch at some point. Good luck, Patrick. Oh, I put a piece of wood above this. Uh, open up my chest. Damn. Will this pop up and stream? Yeah, it'll pop up and stream, obviously. Oh my goodness, Patrick. You're sitting right next to me. You're always in the stream. He, he's just typing instead of talking. My name is Otrick. I guess I have to start calling him Otrick, you guys. New found name, apparently. Hey, Patrick likes the name Otrick more. Never would have guessed that from you, Patrick. Um, this is literally gonna be a chest filled with just like wood and stuff. We're gonna probably have very messy chests for a while, and I'm sorry if that bothers anyone. Um, is there a farming area? Yeah, there's like some creatures down here. Oh, they didn't kill you? Impressive. Surprised that that didn't kill the skeleton in like a single hit. Let's see. But yeah, let's go put some more torches down here, kind of like by our crops. So that way they can. I think they can still grow at night if we have torches and stuff around them. Um, I don't know how to tell like a good potato in this resource pack. Like a fully grown potato. So I guess we'll just wait a couple more days and then we'll come harvest them. Hopefully they'll be good. We'll definitely be needing food. We have a ton of bones. So we could just bone meal one. I missed. There we go. Got the skeleton. Let's go to make some bone meal really quick. With our bones. Let's see. Okay, so that's what a fully grown potato looks like right there. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead and harvest all of these ones. That way we can replant them. This is something I kind of want to go buy from the store because I've been I saw a video about someone making a big show the other day and it looks so good. Not gonna lie. Wait, how are you turning into drowned? How do zombies turn into drowned again? I don't even remember how that happens. That's a good question. Anybody knows the answer, please tell me. <laughs> Cause I don't, obviously. Let's go run over here. I mean, obviously they get wet at some point, Patrick. 
Never would have guessed that answer. Here we go. Everything from a skeleton. Oop, we don't have a torch in our inventory anymore. Run away! I can no longer see easily at night. No. Damn. Go make some more torches. I guess let's not spam them everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Let's go just cut down some more trees. And we'll spam them around as like we cut down trees and stuff and have more reason to spam them down. Like over here is kind of like lacking in torches in my opinion. But also it might just be like this resource pack. We're definitely gonna need to like run around without this resource pack on for a while. Or the shaders. And just see how different it is. There we go. Killed the zombie. Does this tree still have no, I think it's because this tree's like close enough to those leaves that those leaves aren't despawning yet. Cut you down. Ooh, an apple. Gotta love finding some apples. Granted, apples can't be used in a lot of recipes, but apples can be pretty powerful if it, when you make golden apples. Which is honestly what all these apples are probably gonna go towards eventually, just golden apples and stuff like that. We'll have golden food to impress our guests in our castle. Be great. What? Is that what he had? Golden food? Oh, Midas is golden touch. I forgot about that. Like, what are you talking about? I don't remember all these things. There's too many different stories and stuff. How am I supposed to remember all of them? They're classic literature. I know they're classic literature. That doesn't mean I remember all classic literature. Put this down. You're poisoned. Bucket of milk. Hmm? Good job, Patrick. <laughs> okay, let's go chop down this section of the forest. The one that's a little bit closer to our house. We've been kind of not touching this part. I want this to basically just all be grassland instead of forests. I just wish that was easier. It's easier said than done. <laughs> I want this to look this way. Oh, you gotta put in all the effort to make it look that way. Because if you don't, it's, it's never gonna look that way. But I feel like we're gonna get a lot of work done in the stream today. And who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll do a longer stream today. Probably not, but who knows? Damn. Ugh. Oh. Remember when this entire little area was forest and now it's like starting to look like grassland? It's great. It's beautiful. Wow, we've actually cut down quite a few trees. If I'm being quite honest. Let's see, I'll leave those like really tall trees. I actually like how those taller trees look. Um, so I'll leave most of those just sitting around. Let's see. Down. And you, you don't want a lot of trees around your castle, you know? You can end up being like killed by things. <laughs> they can sneak up on you. All of your enemies. Not, not a good look. Exactly, like Patrick easily sneak up on us. Okay. Maybe we should start clearing out trees on the mountain so I can actually start building. Cause I'm already having that itch. Let's go up to the top of the mountain and start just like shaving off the trees and then we'll work our way back down into here. 
deeper into this area. We also have a lot of horses around, which is nice whenever we get a saddle again. The reason we don't have a saddle is Patrick's fault, by the way. He stole it and then died. Honestly, it was probably laying in a pile of stuff that I found at some point. I just didn't pick it up. That I found, yeah. Who knows? Who knows where our dang saddle went? That's sad, though. We had a donkey and everything. You guys know how good a donkey is? It's a donkey. Donkey. I wanted to make a mule. We might still go back and find, like, a really good horse or breed up a really good horse, and then we'll get a mule at some point. So that way, hopefully, it'll be really fast, be able to jump pretty high and everything still. And it'll also be able to carry a bunch of weight. Mules are great in this game. I also want llamas. I want all the different animals at some point. We're gonna basically have a little zoo at some point, so y'all can be expecting that. Okay, let's grab all of this tree. Another apple nut too. Our inventory is seriously gonna fill up with wood. I remember the last time I had such big like ideas for another server that I was on, but I had zero control on how long that server was gonna stay up for. It did not stay up for very long because everyone else like built their bases and did everything within the first two weeks. And I'm over here like with a dirt hut still like a month in, like still trying to figure out what I'm gonna build and stuff like that. It was great. Let's see this tree down oh this is a bigger tree oh well, that's fine this mountain pretty much needs to be fully cleared out of trees because on this mountain will be a castle this mountain also might need to be extended so that way we can actually fit our castle up here or at least like do it to where the castle kind of goes down in layers or something like that we could also do like an off the edge castle. That could be kind of fun. Like a castle that partially goes off the edge of something. Or of the mountain. Not of something, it'll obviously be of the mountain, but. No, no, what I mean. It's fine. There's a little house way over there. Yeah, because like we could build the castle and like have like a piece hanging off or something right here. I do want to build like leave room for some secret rooms and stuff in our castle or for like a secret like hallway to get out of the castle I think that'll be fun like quote unquote secret obviously everyone's gonna know about it because y'all are gonna be watching the stream but it'll still be a fun little thing to have nonetheless did you take part of my house I'm not talking about you I'm talking about the Senderman. never know with them. They'll just steal random pieces of your house sometimes. I do want to get an enchanting Gigi! table. Ooh, hello, Judy. <laughs> hey, Jay. I do... Okay, I think we should go mining now. Because we're down to eight iron. Don't have diamonds or anything, so let's go for some mining. <laughs> We've cleared out enough trees for the time being. Let's go mining. Let's see if we can get like a ton of cobblestone. So I'm sure we're going to be using a ton of that also in the build. Um, for all this, these wooden things in here. Let's cook these potatoes. And then gunpowder, bone, seeds, apples. I'll keep the dirt. I'll keep the water for the eggs, the rotten flesh. So the rest of this iron up here. And let's go down into this little mine, this makeshift mine that we just built underneath our house. Not very pleasant walking down it. For sure. There we go. Oh, remember when we had our dog? So do I. <laughs> that was a sad, unfortunate thing to happen. Oh, this is gravel. 
Ugh, I hate gravel in mines. Like when you're trying to build a strip mine and just find a bunch of gravel everywhere. So annoying. Granted, we could really need that gravel eventually, so I guess I shouldn't be that annoyed. Let's see. Dang it. I was gonna say, does that trick not work anymore? But it does. It worked with one piece of the gravel. Um, at that point, I should have just used my shovel again. Ooh, we found some more iron. Yeah, I think they can. They can also br just break off, like where you have to go pick it up again. Where it broke off and you gotta go find it. Let's see. I hear zombies, which means we're near a cave, which could be a good thing, but could also be a horrible thing. It very easily leads to our death in a cave. Yeah. But I do want to get more diamonds, so that way we can make a pickaxe. We need at least six diamonds total. You get a pickaxe, get an enchanting table going. Those are things that I think we can really be using right now. Because... Enchanting table is just a beautiful thing to have in this game. Grab all this coal. Another resource that we just need a bunch of. Coal, iron, diamonds, just stone in general. Wood. All great things to have. <laughs> How are you doing, Judy? How is your food? Are you still eating? So I imagine no Digi's going on today. I don't know when Digi's going live though. He could be live right now. I just missed the notification. It's about five hour time, so I think he'll be going live in like an hour or so. Thirty minutes to an hour. Is what I imagine. What I imagine at least. Found some more coal. All the coal. All the coal. I love having all the coal. It's great. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Get all the XP from it is great. I'm just gonna have a little yawn session there. <laughs> I yawn a lot when I'm playing and like when I'm live streaming and stuff. It's great. It's lovely. I do get tired pretty early in the day now, which is a good sign that like we're our bodies are starting to adjust. Although, also, we should have taken more, more advantage of the time change. Because I feel like we didn't take advantage of the time change. Try to get, like, our sleeping schedules more in order. And we definitely could have. What level are we on? 18? We need to be at level 12 for diamonds, which means I'll probably go to level 9. That way, if we're mining upwards and stuff, we can still find diamonds easily. Uh, more coal, more coal and iron. Our pickaxe is pretty close to dying, so that's a good sign. Good thing. Good thing that we're finding this. I'm making this like whole strip mine, but we're also gonna explore caves at some point and stuff too. I'm just, I'm trying just to get the things as fast as possible, you guys. That's why we're doing a strip mine. <laughs> Get things as fast as possible and also to not die on the outside world or in the outside world you know it's also very important to me <laughs> that we don't instantly just die everywhere we go especially at nighttime mining at nighttime is the best time granted you can mine for way longer than just the nighttime very easily let's see what level we got We'll be at level nine, and there we go. What happened? Now you only have one chicken. Oh no. How do you get them to me? Um, you need seeds, right? Click on both of them with seeds. But if you throw the eggs on the ground, then you can also spawn baby chickens. 
Patrick just died by a zombie. I'm about to die by a zombie. There we go. We're all good. I think you hit a lot of things, Patrick. Yeah, this is this little stretch that we didn't put a torch down for a pretty long time. Which I'm assuming is why a zombie spawned. Whoops. Now that we got a bunch more resources, we can go and come back up here and smell and do things like that. Very happy. I should honestly put like trap doors or something over that, but we're not even gonna bother. Um, we have some baked potatoes. Oh, this is so good. Let's see, and there's our iron. A ton of cobblestone now. Gravel. Diorite, andesite, all the good things like that. My phone keeps going in and out of charging. I hate it when chargers do that. Just charge my phone. Okay. My phone's rapid charger, and it's just like charging rapidly, but also at the same time taking forever. Okay, let's do that. And that, and there we go again. Let's put that back down there. Now let's continue to go mining for a bit longer. Just so that way we can see if maybe we happen to hit diamonds. Let's also get rid of all of like this so that way it's a little bit easier for us to get up and down specifically to get back up Ooh. there we go and yeah that i think that was where we started doing it the proper way okay let's go back down into this like it looks like a pit of death down here. Oh, because I didn't put a torch anywhere up down here. There we go. And we're gonna just mine for like, I don't know, 50 blocks. That was the wrong button. Let's go ahead and see where we are. This goes into 1054. So when we're at... Ooh, copper. I forgot about copper. We have copper stuff now. I'm not specifically looking for copper, but I guess we should mine it up. I'm gonna do the line first. So that way we just get there. We're gonna go to negative 1104. And then we'll make our other wall right there. I have a very specific way I like to do my strip mines, if you guys can't tell. Very, very specific way. Let's see. Get there for a while. We'll also come back for this coal. Again, I just want to get to the point and make a little walkway so that way, whenever we start doing more mining, it's already there. It's already built for us. And hopefully, we don't run into any lava or anything. I hate it when that happens too when you're strip mining. It's not fun. Let's see. Oh, Life Simmer went live. Wow. It feels so weird. Cause, like, I stopped watching her channel so long ago on YouTube. So it feels weird whenever I see her go live. I'm like, I haven't watched you in years. But we're still following people from years ago. Great. Sometimes I question, does anyone else do that? Like, you haven't watched someone's, like, stream or YouTube channel or something in years, but you're still following them, so you see, like, whenever they upload and stuff like that. We have 10 more blocks. I do that a lot. Oh, what are you? I've never seen you before. Cobbled Deep Slate. I've, I, I know that's, like, a newer block. I've literally never mined it before. That's, like, a first for me completely. Completely a first. Yeah. That might be a block that we I use a lot in the future. One, oh two, oh three, 
and 04. Okay. That's officially a hundred blocks in that direction. Let's go ahead and grab some blocks out of here. Going this way. And we'll do the same thing going the other way. Just so that way we can be making a decent few amount of strip mines. Or a decent few strip mines before we have to do this again. What? Nothing. You're actually sleeping? Wow, that's a first. I'm mining. I'm too good for sleep. Just kidding. I feel like a lot of people always say like, sleep is for the weak, and I'm over here like, I need my sleep. If I don't get enough sleep, I literally can't function. I cannot function for the rest of the day. Ooh, nice coal. And then there was the copper. Yeah, right here. Let's grab all this copper. I don't know if copper veins ever lead to anything, but you never know. They might. This one didn't. That's fine. We have 25 copper now. I've never really used copper either. I don't... Are there copper tools? I don't think there are. Um, but I know copper is like a thing that you can use for building a lot. I do like the color change in it. So we might make like some aspects of some of our builds out of copper or something at some point should have brought a crafting table down here that's what i should have done well that's just chocolate at the bottom that's not that's not hot chocolate anymore that's just chocolate at the bottom of the cup bad days Here. Looks like it's daytime. Or is it kind of nighttime? Like dusk or dawn? I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Dawn? Okay. The dawn of humanity. In this world, at least. Of Minecraft manity. I'm just gonna keep going mining until we find some diamonds. <laughs> I'm sorry if that bothers people, but we're gonna do it because I want an enchanting table and I need, I need stuff like that, okay? We should also probably be farming sugar cane. I forgot about that. Let's go do that. And farming our potatoes better. Okay. Now we have a decent amount of those. Um, Cause I don't wanna have to like spend a bunch of time fishing or anything. Throw that in there, throw the iron just in here. Um, let's make a crafting table that we can take down into the mine with us. And then let's, we'll get more stone down there to make more furnaces. I'm sure of that. Hello ye, let's start a Patrick is rude train. <laughs> You're gonna have to find other people to do that with you. I don't know if anyone else is in here right now that will do that with you. Cause Patrick's in here, but you know, that's Patrick. Let's see, let's go ahead and just plant the, these sugar cane right along here. There we go. We'll make a proper sugar cane farm at some point. Who knows when that'll be, but at some point. Let's harvest a couple of our potatoes. Just that way we continue to get food from that source then can you just plant berries wherever or do you have to have them on filled oh you can just plant them wherever let's make a little berry farm right there i'm gonna forget about that and run into it so many times i'm already telling you guys also let's move our sugar cane over to where the sand is the sugar cane i think grows faster on sand at least it used to i'm assuming that still holds true so let's plant it over here where there's actually sand is like kind of like our little farming area there we go we're gonna need that for books and we're gonna need to find cows and get some cows in the pen and stuff like that but we'll worry about that when we actually find diamonds let's go back into the mine and continue doing our thing there all copper so 
search. Yeah, so copper, you can make block, you can have a block of raw copper too. Oh, maybe I don't want to smelt all my copper then. I didn't realize you could have a block of raw copper. That might look kind of cool. Let's go ahead and throw our potatoes in here. <sighs> Let's run back down here. Down we go. I'm dying. Why are you dying, Yeats? Don't die. That's not good. It's not good at all. That's not good for your health. Don't die, Yeet. I'm gonna dig down this way. Please don't die. Hopefully, uh, again, hopefully some of y'all like Minecraft. My allergies, that's why I'm dying. Oh no! That, that's really not good for you. I hate allergies. I hate them so much. I used to get them so bad. They're not as bad anymore for me, but they can still sometimes, from time to time, be pretty, pretty obnoxious. I should probably put some torches down. <laughs> they can still be pretty obnoxious. Not great. Not great at all. Fun. There is a wild Maria. Marani? To go ahead and buy a new Pokeball, ye exclamation point Poke Shop space Pokeball. And then you can put the number of Pokeballs that you want after that. Let's see. There we go. Patrick just like showed you how to do it. If you'd like to buy more Pokeballs to continue catching some Pokemon. There you go. Let's see. Honestly, I feel like I need to have like the general instructions down somewhere where you guys can just like copy and paste it from the about section. Or at least reference it if you're on like a mobile device or something. Got a bunch more coal, which is nice. I do enjoy getting a bunch of coal. We will have like a proper mine at some point too. This is just for now. Um, we'll have to see whenever that happens. No one caught the Pokemon, oh no. We have some redstone now, which is very good for redstone rails. Which we'll probably be using to get up and down the mines at some point. Let's go ahead and use cobblestone. We have so much cobblestone, there's no reason to use anything else. Oops. Keep digging out the wrong little areas. Um, redstone. Yeah. Continue digging. This is very riveting Minecraft like video footage. I know, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Also, as like a little update, I haven't put it in my about section yet, but um. For a couple people's requests, I did make a little Amazon wish list. And the command for that. Ooh, diamonds! The command for that is exclamation point Amazon. And that'll show the Amazon wish list. If anybody would like to like do anything or get anything for me that's like not necessarily just donating money, feel free to take a look at it if you guys want to. Um, obviously there's no no like I'm not pushing you guys to look at it or anything. I just want to put it out there. I know Mad did it, and Patrick said if Mad did it, I would do it, so, you know. Patrick obligated me to do it. That's how you roll. But yeah, there it has stuff in there that ranges from like equipment that I'm eventually planning on getting myself, um, if anybody wants to help me with that. And just like little things that I found that I'm like, I kind of want that. Uh, which ranges from like things that will help with gaming, like batteries for controllers and stuff like that, to like candles for personal, like in our home, nice little use. Which do you guys have like a favorite candle scent? I don't know what mine would be, honestly. I think like one of my favorite candles might have been the apple cinnamon candle that Patrick got the other day. That smelled really good. Eucalyptus mint. 
Eucalyptus mint sounds really nice. It's just we haven't been able to find a eucalyptus mint one since I've been with you. So, so we've lived together slash I've been with Patrick. We haven't been able to find a eucalyptus mint scented candle. All of them have, if, if we do, they have lavender, which isn't good for Patrick. Let's see. Let's continue just mining this. Let's go on this side. Right here. We found two more diamonds, which is a good start. We need six diamonds total to do what I want to do. So we might go try to find a cave in a bit too once these pickaxes run out. If we don't have enough diamonds and see if we can find diamonds that way. Ooh, some lapis, which we also need for what I'm planning. Um, we're also gonna need to go find some cows. So we can just kind of jump between little tasks, you know? Right now we're mining our life away. We've also been streaming for about two hours. Hi, Patrick. Patrick's actually in the game with me. I showed him how to make his own Minecraft skin, so he made that skin himself. That thing again? He. Patrick's just gonna chat in the Minecraft chat since you guys can't hear him. <laughs> but yeah, since I have been gone, or it has been another hour, I think I'm gonna go take a break momentarily after we finish mining and after we go back up to the surface so you guys have something to look at that's not just this screen of just like cobblestone and stuff i'm also pretty sure that we live pretty close to like i live pretty close to patrick in here in minecraft so i think we're pretty not exactly neighbors but close enough to be neighbors Probably put another torch down. Yeah, I don't think I've put a torch down yet. In this hallway. This place is gonna be like swarmed with zombies, I swear. I'm really bad about putting like torches around with the shaders pack because you don't have to for the shader pack itself. <laughs> this is probably gonna lead to my demise at some point, but it's fine. We're not in hardcore, we're just in normal Minecraft, so. It does lead to our demise at some point. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. We'll just respawn and get all of our stuff and continue on our day. Or continue on our way. <sighs> Let's see. I wonder how many diamonds we'll be able to find. I hope we were able to find a decent amount because it's always nice to have diamonds on hand. And like I said, I want to, so what I want to do with the diamonds is I want to make an enchanting table so we can hopefully get like efficiency and mending and stuff like that on our tools. I honestly might do like a cheatsy thing eventually too. I call it cheatsy because like, I feel like it is honestly. And we might make a fishing farm, like a fishing area. Or like an AFK fish farm where you don't even have to be on like in the game to be fishing. I've done that before and you can get some really good things from that. So I'm thinking that we're probably gonna do that eventually. Is that like Oh that is coal, it's just in a different block. That's I've never i I'm not used to these blocks, you guys. That's interesting. I didn't know that other resources could be in Is it because we're so close to bedrock that like it's just a more difficult resource to mine, or it's harder to mine down here. There is still actual bedrock, right? I'm going to play Minecraft. That sounds like a good good idea, Yeet. Minecraft is fun. It can be stressful sometimes. It can be annoying, but it's also very fun. This is also like the perfect stone for whenever we make like our dungeon and stuff in our castle. Which you guys best believe that there will be one. <laughs> Patrick's gonna probably be in there quite often. How are you doing, Patrick? You're doing quite well. You actually still alive. Okay. And here we are in our tunnel. Once again. Let's go ahead and extend both of these sides by quite a bit. Like, literally use the rest of our pickaxe to extend at least one of the sides. We should make a Minecraft server that crosses platforms with Java and Bedrock. People can play on it. That would be fun. Um... I've never like ran a Minecraft server before, so that's like a daunting task too. I don't know, are there actually servers that like can do cross-platform? Because right now I just have this realm and it's just on Java Edition. 
because that's what I have. I've had Java Edition since 2011. <laughs> I've had Minecraft since the year it came out. That, that's how long I've had this game for. So, you know, that's why my name's able to be so short. I feel like that's a good way to like tell if someone's had the game for a long time is how short the name is. But maybe we'll think about that. Maybe eventually we will do that. That'd be fun. Maybe it'll be like a Patreon server or something like that too. That could be kind of a cool thing to have. I'm in two, maybe more. Nice. I'll think about that. I might do that eventually. It might end up being something that's a little bit more reserved for like whenever I start doing Patreon and stuff like that. Because that's like far in the future. And it'll probably be far in the future before I do make a Minecraft server anyways, if I were to. Just because I know how much effort that takes. And it's crazy. Like, I don't even know what kind of server I would want. Probably just, like, a normal Minecraft, like, survival server. It's just, I don't like having to, like, do, like, use the ban hammer and stuff like that. <laughs> I always feel so awkward. Like, I feel awkward being the person that's, like, in charge of things like that. That's why Patrick's here, that's true. But, like, server moderators and, like, all that stuff it can be fun, but it can also be toxic and stuff like that but it'll it'll we'll, we'll think about it we'll think about it eventually right now this is just a server for like me and my friends to play on specifically right now i think the only people on this server are me patrick judy and digi mike and that's pretty much it pretty much everyone who's in this server okay let's go back upstairs uh, let's go find a cave to actually go mining in. Okay. I know I just like went on like a 20 minute like rant about that. I'm sorry. You're probably like looking just for a little answer. I'm bad about giving little answers. Let's come back up here. We'll look for a cave to mine in. But I'm also just going to leave you guys off on like a little bit of a screen. So that way I can get up, stretch, and do everything. Um, the reason why I do that is just to kind of like... Oh, are you sleeping? Let me sleep too. The reason why I'm doing this is because I do plan on doing much longer streams. Your stepdad's home. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully that's good. You left the game? No. Is there already time for you to go? Oh, well. Patrick has to leave soon. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this off here. I'll be back soon. I'll open up the windows and everything so you guys actually have somewhat of a view. And I will be back in just a couple of minutes just to get up, stretch. You guys do the same. Go get food, water, whatever you need. And I'll see you guys back momentarily. Hey, y'all. We are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. There's a Pokemon if anybody wants to go catch it. The free to. The more than free to. Let's go ahead and smelt. Smelt some more iron because iron is the most useful resource for us. Let's throw everything else in here. We had diamonds up here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. This chest is already pretty much full with stuff. So, I guess that's good. <laughs> I guess that's good in a way that we have a chest that's already full at this point. I keep throwing torches up there by accident. It's fine. Our house is just going to be full of torches because I keep throwing them up there. That's a-okay. I never put that crafting table down there. I'm just going to throw it up here. I'm going to throw this up. Or actually, let's take the crafting table with us. And let's go ahead and take these sticks and some more of this wood. And just a tad bit of coal with us as well. If we're going to go find an actual mine to mine in, because otherwise that can end very badly. I think there's a mine or a mine, a cave right here. We can come down here and go mining. Yeah, look, there's already a bunch of like iron and coal and stuff, which we can come back and get later. The deeper we get, the more hostile creatures are going to be. It's always fun, right guys? Be killed by creepers and 
things like that. Let's just light this up a little bit. We're on a search for diamonds. There's so much iron down here. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and make some more torches just right away really quick so that way we have them. It's only 12 more torches. Wow. Okay. Gonna make a lot more than that. I was gonna use the rest of this coal. There we go. Now we have 60 torches to use throughout this cave. Does anyone else have a system for like throwing torches up or is it just me? I know I definitely do. I always put torches on my right side no matter where I'm going. So that way if you just follow it to your left, you'll find your way back out. And that looks like that's the end of this cave. Let's go ahead and get all the resources out of here because there's a ton. Um, we can definitely be getting a lot of iron and copper and coal. Um, nothing more than that I don't think I saw in here. This isn't the most amazing cave, but it's still a decent cave. A decent little cave. I also don't know what these vines are. I'm assuming you need shears to get them. Which we do not have in our inventory, unfortunately, at the moment. Go for all of this iron, this coal. There we go. Just get everything. Absolutely everything. Because we can definitely use all the resources we can get. Because not been in this world for very long now have we <laughs> actually we have i've had this world for like three months at this point four months so i've had time we just haven't played it like at all pretty much that's a lie we've played it but not that much let's see more iron and copper and stuff up here and it's very good just this cave ended very quickly, so this didn't go super deep or anything. Some caves you can get lost in because they go so deep and have so many twists and turns and stuff like that. This one was not one of those caves. This was a cave that you like go into and you're just kind of like, oh, that's it. <laughs> I thought we were about to go on an adventure, but nope. No adventure here, just, just short mining. Short mining. Damn. go we can get all this copper apparently there's a pig in the cave somewhere that i just heard it might be outside of the cave we might be pretty close to the entrance at this point looks so again tiny cave not a ton in it but enough this would be like a good starter cave when you're just starting out because there's like coal near the top so you can make torches I feel like that's how most Minecraft caves spawn into the world is they usually have coal towards the top so that way you can get resources from it. Because if they didn't, that would be annoying. <laughs> Gotta say it, that would be so annoying if they didn't have like all of that near the top or near the surface. Grab all of that. Something I've been like binge watching hardcore, which I think has been putting me in the Minecraft mood is I've been watching a bunch of like 100 day challenge videos um, by different people, or by specifically Forge Labs. And I, their, their videos are so much fun to watch. Or his videos are so much fun to watch. Like, the only thing that gets annoying after a while is some of his vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, Patrick keeps laughing at it because he constantly says man. Like, he calls himself in the third person, this is going to be a man, like, dot, dot, dot. Which I think is kind of funny. Um, and it's just, like, his quirk, which is always good to have a quirk. But it's great. I like his videos. They're a lot of fun to watch. And they're also very informational and kind of helps me, like, remember, like, what the actual things you need to do in Minecraft are. Because sometimes you forget, you know? You know? At least I forget sometimes. Let's go check on all of our... Ooh, yeah, our sugar cane has grown quite a bit. That got us, like, 22 coal and almost a stack of copper. And a couple of stacks... Or a stack and a half of coal or so. All of that was actually very good. Those bushes are already starting to kill us. Ooh. No. I don't want to break off all the sugar cane. I just want to get the extra pieces so we can grow more. They've all grown up by, like, one at least. And I just want to plant more over on this side. Looks like most of our potatoes have grown... Which is also really good. 
Something else about sugarcane is they have to be on a block with water touching it. So in case anybody specifically Patrick was curious. Did you already find that out? Okay. I have Patrick a hard time because he's never played Minecraft before. Until recently. We have 18 potatoes. Go ahead and put around and eat. Come back in here. We might just go back and charge strip mine. A little bit more of a boring way to mine, but you know, it is what it is. We are going to take our chest down there with us. So there's more potatoes in here. Um, our crafting table. I'm going to make a bunch of chests put down there as well. Because we're just going to keep like all of our cobblestone and stuff, I think, down there in the mines. Um, same with coal. We'll probably keep a bunch of it down there instead. So, yeah, we'll have like a chest of cobblestone. Like, honestly, an entire like section of chests. We're going to go make it look semi-decent down there, even though we're eventually going to abandon that mine. <laughs> Let's see. I'm thinking we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. The 12 chests at least for cobblestone. Um, probably just like one chest for valuable resources. And then we'll make a chest for other resources like andesite, diorite, gravel, things like that. So let's go and get a couple more pieces of wood. And let's go ahead and make another chest. And we'll take this other stack of wood down there with us too. And let's go ahead and make like a bunch of furnaces so that way we can be um, melting a bunch of stuff at once. Get some more cobblestone. I want to have at least like eight furnaces as well. So two, three, four, five. Let's see. I'll just grab eight from this. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nope. Eight. There we go. And we'll probably have a couple furnaces at some point with hoppers and stuff, but that gets more. Actually, how do you make a hopper? How do you make some of these things? Can I make a compass? Trust and iron. That's easy enough, actually. Let's go ahead and make a hopper really quick. Actually make, how many chests will that give us? Three. We can make like three hoppers. Maybe. Actually, I don't know if we can. We can make two hoppers. We can have two furnaces going that have um, chests above them with more stuff in it to like smell, which is always good because Obviously we mine a ton and if we want to be smelting a bunch of like cobblestone or something, for example, having the hopper is always great so that we go through more than the stack. You can have like that and coal in the hopper bin. That's beautiful. Yeah, you can make um, smooth stone and then you make smooth stone into bricks. Into stone bricks. Patrick's learning things. <laughs> As I'm speaking, Patrick is learning things. Also make two more furnaces. That way we can do that with those two. We'll put all this down in our mines for now. Here we go. Eh, I'll just take all this stuff down there with me. Take everything else down there. We had more luck finding diamonds down here than we did in that first cave that we found. And I don't know where there are any other caves at, so... Yeah. This is ooh. See see what I told you? I told you guys that I'd probably forget to put torches down here. And then things would spawn and kill me as I walked down here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's make this side right here like the cobblestone chests. Go. And for that we're just gonna it actually does matter. Why does it have to actually matter? 
It didn't used to matter. At least I don't feel like it used to matter. Okay. Oh. Um. Dang it, all these chests aren't placed in the right way. Oh, it's annoying. Although we are gonna be putting furnaces right next to it, so we might as well just get rid of that anyways. And then we can put them. The right. Why? Why aren't those chests doubling up? Do you not have chests right next to each other like that? Oh, and those ones need to have the empty space above them. I'm so confused, you guys. <laughs> Why are these ones not working? Am I doing something that you can't do anymore? They are facing the same way, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see what I was doing wrong. That's annoying, though. But I see what I was doing wrong. Let's go ahead and put our 10 furnaces right here. That. I'm back and I need some therapy. Oh, no. That's not good. What happened? I have way more furnaces than I realized. Let's go ahead and right here. Throw down a couple more chests, I think. Let's see. There we go. Or we can have this be the spot with the furnaces. And then We'll have a hopper going down to both of these. And then we can have some chests above it that are going to be able to be opened. I'm pretty sure that that's how that works, right? It doesn't have to be directly into the hopper. At least I'm hoping that's how it works. Ugh. If I put something in here. Okay, yeah, we'll go into the hopper. Good. I didn't know if it would or not. I wanted to make sure. There we go. And then further than this, we'll have some more chests like right here. Just a couple of like a double chest. And we'll have another double chest right here eventually. And we haven't put our crafting table down anywhere yet. So let's go and just put that down right there. We have a crafting table that we can use. I'm gonna put some torches down in here. You're asking me on Snapchat last night. Mm -hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Honestly, um, if like an ex is doing something like that, sometimes you just need to block them. Or like somehow get rid of like just block them, get rid of them. You don't need that in your life. Not good. Because if the in my opinion, if they show that they're gonna do it once, they'll probably try and do it again at some point. So if anyone ever starts doing anything like that, just block them. Just get rid of them off of Snapchat, off of social media in general if you have to. Um, so that way they eventually get the memo. But I'm sorry that that happened. That's never good. I don't like it when people do stuff like that. That's just rude and not okay. Hopefully you're doing okay. Dude. Is there something playing? Do you hear like Christmas music somewhere? I did block him. He was a 
he was a group chat that I was in, and he left it after I told my stepsister. Okay, well, I'm glad that you blocked him, and he's no longer in the group chat with you. That's good. Hopefully, he'll never be in a group chat with you again, or anything like that. But hopefully, like, yeah, he won't do it ever again, because you, he won't be able to. Sometimes it does take taking some of the things into your own hands with stuff like that. With just getting rid of the people that are doing stuff to harm you in some way. Especially if it's like in a mental, mentally abusive. It's not good. And like sexual harassment's obviously not okay. And people shouldn't be doing that. So when they do it, just make sure that you just don't stand for it. And show that you won't stand for it so that way they'll stop. Or they won't try it again. Which I know that's easier said than done to sometimes too. Which obviously you've already blocked him though, so. It should be fine. Let me make one more. Iron pickaxe. One more iron pickaxe. Just that way we have it down in the mines. And let's just toss that. <laughs> Get rid of that. Um, we don't need a stone pickaxe. We can make millions of those with the resources we have on us at all times um uber eats is trying to get me to order from them how did they know that i want food from them? um lined up and is messing with my mind Interesting. <laughs> it's messing with your mind I'm sorry, I know I don't put things necessarily in the nice, neatest, nicest little little ways. I was like, wait, are you talking about the game or something else? No, it was the game. I know, I'm sorry. They won't always be like that. I just didn't want to block the window and I didn't feel like moving the bottom chest. I didn't have like a good axe or anything yet. So yeah, they, they just kind of ended up there. It will change eventually, don't worry. For now, we're mainly focusing on getting diamonds. Um, we're gonna have to go look for cows soon, which hopefully they're not all dead around us because that's also always a possibility. But once we have diamonds, we can like make nether portals. We can make another hub. The first place I want to make another portal from is spawn just so that way. I don't know if anyone else has already made another portal though. They might've, um, but just so that way, like we have a portal at spawn and then we can each make our own portals line up after that and do whatever we need to do. That way all of us have a pretty easy time doing that. Let's see. Grab all this redstone. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hello, mellow. I've come to talk with you again. I love that little sound bite. <laughs> I am the dark. Yeah, Draco, our cat, is the darkness. Ooh, another diamond. I think this is where we found the two. So we got a third one. That means we have, I think, four diamonds in total, I want to say. So let's see. Hopefully we can get to six today. At the moment. Of stolen loot. Oh my God. I'm extra late, but I am here. Thank you for joining in, Mellow. How have you been? How's your day been? What have you been up to? Hopefully it's all been good. Thank you for joining in, no matter what, though. It doesn't matter if you're late. Let's see. We're just going mining right now. <laughs> We're collecting resources um, on this server. Eventually, I do want to build a castle. So you can imagine how many resources I'm going to need for that. Let's see. What are we at? 102, 103. Okay, yeah. And then here's our little area. Let's go ahead and make sure that we dig out super far on this side, so that way when we continue to come mining, we don't accidentally not like go way past and just go mining forever in one direction. Yeah, how are you, Mellow? Hope everything's going good. Playing some Minecraft. I don't get to play Minecraft very often, and I feel like Minecraft's a very low-key game. It's definitely a game that doesn't give you any talking points, really. Except for narrating exactly what you're doing at all times. <laughs> Which is what I tend to do. Are you okay, Patrick? No, you have the hiccups. 
I'm sorry that you have the hiccups. Patrick's just in the background hiccuping. He was. He did a couple times. He hasn't again, but... You know. Ooh, a cave must be nearby. We got the little... Yeah, it makes a sound when a cave is nearby. Or like a dungeon and stuff like that. And Minecraft dungeons are pretty small. Unless you get Minecraft dungeon. Specifically. Let's go and get all of this lapis. All this coal. All resources that we're definitely gonna need a ton of. Specifically the coal. There was one um, time that I was playing Minecraft and it gave me a ton of like lava near where I made my strip mine. I was so appreciative of that because lava you can also use to like put in furnaces. It's great. It's almost 8 p.m. and I have not eaten yet. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yeet. Eat something. Eat something, yeet. You gotta sustain yourself. I'm really bad about eating too, but please don't do that. Sometimes I forget to eat. Quote unquote. I do forget. I get caught up doing something else and my brain doesn't remember. Patrick thinks I'm lying. I forget, slash, just don't do it. I'm lazy, you know? But don't be like that. Don't be me. Go get yourself some food. I just got upstairs. I don't want to go back down. Go back downstairs for the food. It's worth it. I promise. Let's see. <sighs> I know this is like riveting content right now, but you know, <laughs> we gotta do it. Eat the bed posts. Oh my, God. oh my goodness, Patrick. What in the world? Oh, good fiber. I want junk food. <laughs> so bad. No idea. I just want junk food. Because you're going to have money. But we can use that money for other... I know, but we can use it on food that's not just a one-time eat situation. Junk food is unfortunately a one-time eat situation. I mean, yes, but when you buy groceries, you can actually make so much more out of it. Ooh. Yeah, I know what I want, but it's something I have to make, so that's good. I want to buy potatoes, sour cream, <laughs> and some more cheese, and I'll be great. I really need to buy kosher salt as well. That way, I just have like a big thing of salt for when I cook. It is wood, no. Fine, brother. <laughs> Go eat food. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree that you should eat your, your bed post. Go eat food. <sighs> I'm gonna like make note of where I find diorite because that's a block I might end up using. Is that an andesite? I think this block will be a block for like, if we have a basement area or like a dungeon area, which we're obviously gonna have somewhere. Something fun, a fun fact, I found out that all medieval castles have stairwells that go clockwise. And that's how all their stairwells apparently go. We're probably going to be making like a clockwise stairwell in all of our towers and stuff like that. So historically accurate, you know. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue extending out this side because this side seems to be give, doing us good. What biome are we under right now? We are under the plains biome. Does it change if we go to the other side? Let's see. Plains, wooded hills. Okay, we should actually be mining in this direction because I'm pretty sure hills biomes have more diamonds in them. I might be completely wrong. I know mountain biomes, I think, have more emeralds and stuff. I think hills will have diamonds. 
you are coming with me. <laughs> I will come with you on your laptop, phone, whatever you're watching on. Let's see. Got some gold or golden apples and things. I don't really use gold for anything else. But we'll probably use it for like statues and apples and stuff like that for fun in like this game. I might use it as like accent pieces to stuff. Okay, let's go. Go get yourself some food, take them with you. Please. But the food is a must. That's the biggest must. Let's see. <sighs> I also just realized I need to put a chest underneath the other so i need like two more hoppers and two more chests probably double chests too um we're over there and we just ran out of our pickaxe so we do have to go smelt some iron really quick at the bare minimum there's eight of those we don't have eight Woo! where are you coming from Let's put a torch in here. There we go. Draco's over here meowing already. As a Draco does. It's a Draco. All of these chests are literally just going to be filled up with cobblestone at some point. Um, This double chest I want to be for something else. Let's make another double chest really quick for andesite and diorite. And stuff. Bam. And um, go. Oh, I forgot you have to click it against the other chest. So annoying. That's the one Minecraft update I could have done without. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and put a bunch of diorite, a bunch of granite, and then andesite will go right here. And then the chest below this will be like our diamonds, um, lapis we can do, and everything else we can put redstone. We'll give two of those to redstone. We'll do like smelted iron and smelted gold. Now we should have enough room. There's six. Six. And just so we can put an even amount of coal in each furnace. Throw you in there and throw you in there. I have to wait. My stepdad is making pizza for himself, so I cannot use the microwave. Rip! Microwave pizza. I don't like my. I would rather eat pizza cold than microwave it. That's just like a personal preference that most people don't have, but that's my personal preference. I I don't like microwave pizza. Um, I'd rather just eat it cold. If it's to that point, you know. If it's to the point where it's like between microwaving it and eating it cold, much prefer cold pizza over microwave pizza. Much, much prefer that. Apollo Sand escaped. Oh no, you guys. Apollo Sand escaped. Not good. Oh no, Yeet, what happened? Let's see. Let's grab iron. Make a couple more pickaxes. Do and do. Whew. I really need a book of mending for my bow. I did not get it. No. Why not? Oh, I guess because Pokemon game is dumb. <laughs> it's rigged. Sometimes I feel like that Pokemon game hacks. Like, I feel like no one ever gets the Pokemon sometimes. I don't understand why. I feel like everybody should be able to get the Pokemon so much, so easily. Let's go need some bread. I made bread pudding last night out of um, stuffing mix. 
It was okay. It's kind of spicy in a weird way. Like, it has, like, garlic powder, I think, in it and stuff like that. So, like, it didn't come out the best bread pudding ever, but I was really craving bread yesterday, and that satiated the craving. So, there's that. Patrick rigged it. <laughs> Patrick can rig the game. I believe that. I would believe that. 100%. Patrick's just playing Pokemon on his computer right now. From the stream dashboard. Draco is doing up a storm. As a Draco does. How has it already almost been another hour? That's insane. Almost time to have a break again, you guys. It's so easy to just go mining in this game for a long time. <laughs> kind of relaxing. Also kind of frustrating that that means I haven't found diamonds in the past like hour minus like one. But you know, I guess such is life. See, maybe we'll find some connected to this iron. Nope, okay. Yes, Draco, we hear you. We understand your pain and suffering. I know you have so much of it. Hi, Iron Pluto. Welcome in. How you been doing today? How's your day going? What are you up to? We're just in here casually mining in Minecraft, as one does. <laughs> We're looking for diamonds. I've only been able to find, like, three. I want six diamonds, so... Yeah, I also need to find lava. I haven't been able to really find lava. Which is weird, all things considered. Draco, can I help you? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go on our next break here in like seven minutes. <sighs> yeah, I can go. So it might be a little bit of a longer break for that one, you guys. Because I have to go help Patrick with a couple things before he leaves. But we're going to have another break in like seven minutes. Hopefully that's not too late for you. That should be right. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll do that. Oh, look. We found a cave. This might actually be a lot better than... Oh, wow. How haven't we accidentally gone into that lava? Oh, look. Diamonds. Finally. Finally, we get some diamonds from mining. Oh my goodness. I have at least two more. Oh, that's only two more. Okay. And this cave goes both up and down. We're going to have to come back to this cave eventually. There's like a little lava rose right here. Is that just redstone? Yeah, it's just redstone. I'm not used to seeing things in that other type of block yet. So that means we have... Or actually, no, yeah, we do have enough diamonds now. We can start doing some other stuff. Let's go! <laughs> no reason not to start doing the other stuff when we can do it. Let's go back over here. Cat? Yeah, there's a cat. He's meowing and incredibly loud. I don't know if you guys can actually hear him. Probably not. But for me, it's incredibly loud. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? Why are baby zombies so hard to hit, by the way? I don't understand. Is that necessary? They are tiny. They're too tiny. There's some iron in there. Um, let's throw our cobblestone back up in here. Let's get rid of some of this type of stone we'll put in this chest. Same with gravel. I doubt that we'll ever have more than this much of a stack at once. I just know for cobblestone we'll have like all of these chests filled up pretty quickly. Um, eventually it'll be smooth stone in here too when we're building and getting building materials. But for now, just cobblestone. Have our diamond that we need. I, sh I wish I had my other diamond down here. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go get some 
Other stuff. BRB sounds good. Oh, we need to go get some more things. But we shall see. We shall see. My mom has horrible timing. Earlier she asked me if I could talk and I was in school and now she asked me again. And I'm like, I need to do stuff. I'm streaming, but also I need to go do stuff with Patrick really quick. Uh, it's daytime, so we're good. We're safe up here. I'll open up. I won't open up the windows. But we'll leave you with this beautiful view. <laughs> with this beautiful view. I'm going to go ahead and leave a break. Do it a little break for a second. I would open up the windows fully, but things might kill me if I do. So we'll be back in just a moment. Like a little three minute, four minute break. Hopefully that'll be it. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, you guys, actually, this is going to be where the stream ends for tonight. I know it's kind of like an abrupt ending, but I'm going to go take Patrick to work because I didn't realize that. Hopefully that wasn't in frame this like, entire time. I'm so sorry, you guys. But I'm going to go take Patrick to work and also um, do a couple of other things. I think Digi Mike is going live right now, so we're going to go ahead and go over there and raid him. Um, but I need to go visit my parents because I haven't visited them all week. And I'm moving away within the next six months. So, you know, it's just kind of a thing. No, no, bye bye. No, bye bye. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but it has to be done. I'm going to disconnect from Minecraft really quick. That way I don't forget to do that before I leave. It's so weird seeing like literal concerts just on Twitch. At least I think Digimike's about to go live. We're going to wait for Digimike. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and raid Digimike. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed the stream. If you did and you're not yet following, don't forget to follow if you're working, lurking. Um, if you guys aren't following any of my socials, there's all of my socials right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this stream. I really, really do appreciate it. We're gonna go ahead and do exclamation point raid. Um, don't forget to copy that message whenever we go to raid Digi. Let's see. I'm going to copy it myself really quick. So that way I have the message. <laughs> I always feel awkward when I don't have the message. I'm over here trying to like do stuff. Um, but I'm not going to be in Digi stream really. I'm going to be lurking. I don't know what he's playing for sure. He's doing feel good Friday. So if you guys want to continue having good vibes for the night, definitely follow on over there. Let's go and get that raid message in. Did you underscore Mike? And there we go. We're going to go ahead, pop on over there. 
And I will see you guys all tomorrow when I stream. I should be streaming. When do I stream tomorrow? I should be streaming at like noon tomorrow. Um, if not a little bit earlier. We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming in. Don't forget to join us for the raid. I'm going to give it a couple seconds.